A health and medical crisis will begin in November when a major hospital in downtown Atlanta completely shuts down. Public officials in Atlanta residents were caught off guard when it was announced that the Atlanta Medical Center in downtown Atlanta would close down forever on November 1st. Wellstar, the owner of Atlanta Medical Center, made this announcement. It has caused upset reactions from local officials, politicians, city leaders, and the Atlanta medical community in Atlanta. The news of this impending closure of a major downtown Atlanta hospital has rippled throughout Atlanta as city leaders and residents reflect on the impact of the Atlanta Medical Center on Central Atlanta and the greater Atlanta area. This announcement comes four months after Wellstar's announcement that they were closing the Atlanta Medical Center South in East Point. Grady Memorial Hospital, also located in downtown Atlanta, released a scathing statement about Wellstar's closure announcement. Grady Hospital condemned Wellstar's decision to close in part because Grady believes it will be further overwhelmed than it already has been and that Wellstar is entirely driven by profits. Now most of the information I report comes from the Atlanta local news coverage. I highly encourage every Metro Atlanta resident and anyone interested in relocating to the Metro Atlanta area to follow this very important story. This is not a trivial story. This is an important story because there are a lot lot of people who believe there will be a public health emergency. Having a major hospital shut down and losing its medical capacity will have unintended consequences, and those consequences may go long term. With COVID-19 and monkeypox virus still going on, along with the normal terrible medical events that happen to people, there is the potential for a health crisis in the metro Atlanta area. To give you some perspective, Atlanta Medical Center has a capacity of 460 beds. Compare that to Grady Memorial Hospital, which has 989 beds. Grady Memorial Hospital has complained about overcapacity issues with its 989 beds. By removing Atlanta Medical Center's 460 beds, downtown Atlanta's overall bed capacity will be reduced by one-third, which is a huge number. Aside from the severe bed capacity reduction issue, Atlanta Medical Center is one of two level one trauma centers in the metro Atlanta area. Trauma centers deal with the most severe medical cases such as major car accidents, gunshot wounds, stab wounds, brain injuries, and other trauma injury cases. Unfortunately, Central Atlanta has more than its share of bad car accidents, gun violence, domestic violence, and medical trauma in the metro area. According to CBS 46, with Atlanta Medical Center closing, there will only be one level one trauma center in the entire Atlanta metro area, which is an area of five million people. Keep that in mind, one trauma center for five million people. That means if Grady cannot take level one trauma patients, the next closest trauma centers will be in the cities of Augusta, Macon, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Birmingham, Alabama. The drive times to these places range anywhere from one and a half to three hours away. In a medical emergency situation, these are definitely not short drives. The truth of the matter is that anyone can be a victim of a horrible car accident or or a victim of a violent crime. No one is immune to this. That means whether someone lives in the rougher areas of downtown Atlanta or South Atlanta, or whether they live in the affluent areas of Alpharetta and Johns Creek, everyone will be in the same line to get into Grady's level one trauma center. In a major metro area of well over 5 million residents, it is shocking and disheartening to realize there will soon be only one place to go in the Atlanta metro area for level one medical trauma events. The impact of the impending closure of Atlanta Medical Center simply cannot be understated. All patients and future medical demand will have to be shifted and absorbed into other hospitals in the Atlanta metro area. However, there is no doubt in my mind that the greatest impact will be to current and future residents living inside the perimeter, especially those living in the central Atlanta area. The demand for medical service doesn't just go away when a hospital closes. 
medical events will happen when they happen. The demand for medical services will dramatically increase for the remaining hospitals that stay open. And unfortunately for some, the traveling distance to alternative hospitals will not be possible for many people. So why is Wellstar closing Atlanta Medical Center? It really comes down to sustained financial losses as reported by Wellstar. Wellstar's claimed that it has been losing well over $100 million the past year alone on both Atlanta Medical Center South, that was located in East Point, as well as downtown Atlanta Medical Center, despite their best efforts to turn things around. Wellstar closed their hospital in East Point in April of 2022. Wellstar will now close their downtown Atlanta hospital at the end of October. According to the reporting in the AJC, Wellstar acquired a package of five hospitals in 2015. The most profitable hospital being North Fulton Hospital in Roswell, Georgia. The AJC also reports that where hospitals are located matter to the financial health of a hospital. Hospitals located in more affluent areas do much better financially and is more likely to stay open. Hospitals in affluent areas are more likely to have patients with medical insurance or have the financial capacity to pay the medical bills themselves. Unfortunately, hospitals in rural areas and lower income areas do not do well due to a disproportionate number of poor and indigent people who do not have medical insurance or sufficient financial means. Now, I'm not getting into the politics of this situation, but suffice it to say that there is a lot of finger pointing going on and it has quickly become a heated political topic. In Georgia, eight rural hospitals have been shut down the past 10 years. However, the shutdown of a major hospital in the middle of the Atlanta metro area is hard to accept for many local residents and local officials. On a personal note, I still think it's mind blowing, which is why I'm making this very urgent video. By pulling out of both East Point and downtown Atlanta, Wellstar is clearly leaving behind all the ER cases, indigent cases, charity cases, violent cases, and uninsured cases in those areas. The message is clear, they're clearing out. Current and future residents who place importance in convenient access to medical care should always pay attention to this kind of news. Now, if you want to learn more about what I think about living in Atlanta, you should check out this next video. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and I will see you in my next video.